Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I have a Troll Beads haul to share with all of you. Now this is a very, very special haul. This box right here came all the way from the other side of the world. It came from New Zealand. Um, I did kind of like a swap with um, Pandora Addict on um, Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to link her channel down in the description box. And um, so this arrived and I am so excited about this. Um, the beads that I had asked her to get and she sneaked in a few extra ones in there. And so thank you so much. Um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and open this. I did put the ribbon back on, but um, it came wrapped in the ribbon in this box, but I haven't taken the beads out of the box yet. I just opened to see because I just couldn't wait to film this. And so let me show you the beads. And look at these beauties. Oh my gosh, I am so, so excited about these. So yeah, let me quickly take them out of the box and off the ribbon and we'll look at them. This is the first bead, and yes, this is a troll stone, and this is so beautiful. I have a few um, troll stones, and um, this one is so, so different from everything I have. So not just the coloring, because yes, the coloring is different. You see that the base is kind of yellow, and it has these spots of blue and pink, and um, it has this line or wave running through it that's white, and in the middle you have have this almost reddish brown wave but the most distinct part about this troll stone is actually on the other side so here it is it has a dichroic glass in here and it is so so beautiful I've never seen a troll stone with dichroic glass in it. Um, I had no idea such a thing even existed. And, um, you know, uh, Pandora Addict was showing me pictures of the troll stones that were available. And I kind of zeroed in on it. And um, what do you know? She was able to get it for me. And it is just amazing. So I'll always be very, very thankful to her uh, for getting this for me. And... Um, Again, it has such beautiful colors with the darker and lighter pinks, some blues. I see some hints of green in there. And yeah, look at the... Oh, oops, I keep dropping it. I don't want to drop this one. But here's the profile. You can see that um, at the base, it has some darker colors. And here is the this I think this will look beautiful this way if I wear it with my fantasy ring because I'll be able to see this bit and yeah so that's the troll stone and that's you know that was going to be it but then she want she said uh she also wants to get another bead if she can and she was able to and that other bead is this one now I don't know if I'm going to say it right but it's called Mung Mungathori, Mungathuri. I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but this one is the club bead for Australia and New Zealand, and it is only available for purchase there for club members, I think, um, from what I understand. And um, it has such a beautiful... Um, you know effect to it you can see all these um stripe things they are kind of moving in curves so it gives it so much movement and um this particular one has um different shades of oranges so some light some dark uh interspersed with these off white lines and it's just so beautiful really pretty and again we were talking about this and since this is um new zealand and australian exclusive she was like oh let me see if i can get that one too since you know she's posting stuff anyways and she was able to so i'm really really thankful for that and you can see that here you can see that the the stripes uh so to say kind of um are smaller at the base and then they get kind of wider at the top and then where the curves are in between the stripes you have that plain glass that you can see from the profile view and from the top that kind of looks like somebody scooped something or it looks like desert dunes to me 
so yeah really excited about this one this did come with uh, uh, a certificate and so yeah i'm really really excited about that so that's what I knew was coming. And then when I opened the box, there were a couple of, well, actually there were three other beads in there. And so there's two, which are gemstones. And I'll have to look up um, if these are onyx or what exactly these are, or I'll ask Pandora Addict, but these are the ones, um, I'm thinking these are agates, bla black agates, I wanna say. But I'll put it down here after I ask her. And these are so beautiful. Look at these. Um, they both have this, uh, they kind of look like mirror opposites of each. So this one you can see has the black center. And then this one has the white. And then it has white around it. This one has black. And so, yeah, really, really pretty. And these are just so stunning. Look at that. And then if that wasn't enough, there was a unique in there. And she knows, I think, that my favorite color is pink. And so she sent me this one. It is so beautiful with that light pink base and these um, kind of orange and pink flowers on top. There's also some glitter in there. Beautiful, I love this. It's so, so beautiful. And so, yeah, that is what Pandora Addict sent me. There were a few other things uh, in there, like a card and everything, but um, I wanted to show you the beads. And so that's what she sent me. And then I was very, very fortunate that I found one piece that I've been looking for for such a long time. It's long retired, but I was able to find it and it arrived like, half an hour ago and i'm so excited about this and it's still in the package in here it came it came from a small shop um that sells uh troll beads and so yeah let me take it out of the baggie and i'll show you what it is you can see it's a silver and this is the night owl bead and this is supposed to go on a fantasy necklace like this it's comprises of two parts the head of the owl and the bottom part the feet and the um the body and everything and so this one was a people's bead i don't know what year i'll put that down again but this was a people's bead and this one has been retired for a very long time um, and by the time I started collecting and really looking into things, this one was very hard to find. I mean, very hard to find as in I couldn't find it anywhere. And I just stumbled across this one at one of uh, at one small store uh, that sells it online. And I was able to get this and I'm really, really excited about it. So let me show you what it does. So you can actually put in a glass bead or a gemstone in the middle and wear it like this on a fantasy necklace. Isn't that so cool? I love this and so so excited to see this because I was thinking I'll have to get this secondhand or pre-loved but I was able to get this uh, new love the details on this. It's just amazing amazing so I'm really excited about this one. So this is the night owl and then I also picked up a few other items over the past month. And so this is the first one. And this is a silver. This is called um, Sparkling Star, I believe. And I think this one is retired already. And it's a beautiful silver. It's um, on the smaller side. And um, it has all these facets. And each facet has a star on it. And it's all smooth. And so it's really pretty. And again, th this is from a small shop. And when I was looking at the trays, the photos of the trays, this one caught my eye because I still didn't have this one. And so I picked this one up. Then I also picked up a glass bead. Again, this is an older bead. I believe it is retired. And this one is an armadillo bead. Um, this one is the pink and orange armadillo and it has a very light pink um almost a lavender color i want to say and then um this is more of this mustardy almost like egg yolk um yellow or orange and then um you have these armadillo curves um 
it's beautiful i love armadillo beads i don't have all of them i wish i did but i'm trying to get them as um you know as and when and then i encounter them especially the older ones and so i think this one is still available on the troll beads website too but um i was able to pick this out um as far as which one i wanted so um you know i went uh, with this shop and so i picked this one up and then I picked one more glass bead up. This is a unique and I, it just caught my eye and so I went for it and this is the unique um, and so it has these um, flowers on it and the petals are blue in the center and they have this green outline and then you have these green raised dots in the middle and so it's like a continuous design so if you look at it it's just these circles um green and blue circles with these uh blue uh sorry green raised dots on four sides but if you look at it like four of these circles or petals make up the flower so it's kind of a continuous design and then the glass itself you can see is yellow and so that gives it such a cool look so in the from the front um when the light hits it you see that yellow shining through right now it's not doing that but maybe you can see it a little bit and so yeah it, it it's beautiful i've never seen a unique like this and i guess it's a unique so um yeah i really liked the colors the green and the blue together and that hint of yellow peeping through and so yeah i picked this one up so yeah guys these are some of my purchases some gifts and um i'm very excited about a lot of these beads especially um the Mungathuri and the um, the Troll Stone and then the Night Owl. I I love these beads and I can't thank uh, Pandora Fanatic enough for um, you know helping me find these and then sending me these beautiful beautiful beads as gifts too. I mean it's just she just spoiled me. So let me know which one was your favorite from this haul um, and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe guys. Bye!